that if you if you're if you're a poor child, uh, you live in horrible places, and then people say, "My God, they became drug addicts. My God, they're committing crimes." Well, if you back up the thing, it's not the person committing the crime, in my opinion, or getting into drugs. It's the services of the government letting, lending no support to those people. Martha, and, I think we can cover some of this a little later in the program. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to talk a little bit about, kind of give people a little taste of your experience with uh, Access Albuquerque. Yeah, I want to say that I also am a facilitator with creating a culture of peace because I don't like violence. In reference to um, access to some. The reason why I came together with you is because for over 16 years in Albuquerque, we had the same situation as you, in which the city behind closed doors did a deal with the cable company who had the requirement, as you explained, to come into any city and because they're using the resources of the city, the contracts are always made up so that they fund uh, community stations for independent voice as well as a government station and all of that. But in New Mexico the same thing happened. After three years the, they met behind closed doors and oops, we had no money, they wanted to evict us, they went through the same process oh. and we went through the city council but actually what we did is we worked with the government, with the city council, but after being bumped in the head at city council meetings, we decided to go directly to the cable company mm. and say, you came to use our services and we're going to create a boycott. We're going to tell everybody that you have stopped to support independent media and therefore, we will go after your subscribers and you will not have any business here. And we sent an email list to everybody. We did presentations. Do oh. not subscribe to cable until they come down to the reality that they have oh. to delegate a portion of money. And we were able to save ourselves mm -hmm. by going through the city council, but by going directly to the cable company mm -hmm. and bringing them to their knees where they called us up and said, could you please stop? These people are calling us and saying terrible things to us and plus they're canceling their subscriptions. So then they came to the table with us and we were able to. So in, in reference to your dilemma, which is a little different but has the same commonality, what I think is important is also the reality that governments at this time are going to be attacking all of our democratic uh, resources mm -hmm. and freedom of speech is not important to them. So therefore, we need to become self-sufficient as a station. We need to build membership, which we did in New Mexico. We also did specific fundraisers that were to maintain all the equipment we created a, a, an umbrella of partners like you're also looking at. And that uh, umbrella of all independent media sources coming together, we became a stronger community um, opportunity. And so we were able to be supported by a, a larger variety of people together. And that's what I would like to see happen. And, 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 and speaking with some of your staff and with your director, that um, the city has given you a deadline and that that may be a reality. And also the reality <laughs> is that no matter how many meetings you go to, those guys are in another place. And the economy of this country is creating cities everywhere that everybody's cutting off everything for democracy. But me, I'm passionate about this station because it's a voice for the people. And in a democratic government, if you cut that off, you are no longer a democratic government. You know, I'm a Cox subscriber, Cox Communication, Cable Communication uh, subscriber. And a major reason why I have Cox rather than one of its competitors is it gets access to some. 
And it's not only my show, I'd like to watch occasionally, <laughs> uh, replays, but other people's shows too. Um, uh, one of the shows I enjoy uh, is this fella, I think it's Dan Gershom, I think his name is, who he interviews people from the past. And of course the other person has to oh, learn sorry. about it. And so, uh, and, and my half brother years ago when he was alive for a while worked at Williamsburg and he played a character actor like that. Uh, I mean, of course, I mean, <laughs> I mean, different than the ones I've seen on, on Dan's show, but, but he had to play a, a, a character from the, Williams, the early colonial Williamsburg time. <laughs> so if a little boy says, well, what do you think of television? Television wasn't invented, so he would say, what's television? You know? <laughs> so, but it was very, I, I found that uh, interesting. And uh, Robert Royce is a f good friend mm -hmm. of mine, has, has a good program, he's a Jeffersonian. He's got a, he's got a quality show there. You know, we have some really good shows. Here, um, uh, there was one show. Uh, uh, can't think, <laughs> like Duke, the Duke and Cat show, that f came after us. It was mostly a, a talent and uh, and and kind of current news events. Mm -hmm. He would flood the. I mean, they would they would have more people than seats. I, I mean, I guess everybody sat, but I mean, you could could hardly find a, a, a an empty seat. There was so many people would come to that. There are quality shows here. And if access goes by the way of bye bye, uh, they're gone. Mm -hmm. That means Amy Goodman's show, Democracy Now. Well, also mm -hmm. means Tom Hartman in the Morning, which I watch exactly. every morning, which is a very important program very to watch. Very good program. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Julie, we haven't forgotten you. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, um, Julie is the creator of a moveon.org petition which she, uh, and, and with the help of others, but she's the creator of it, mm -hmm. um, got, had tw the last count is about 2,200 yeah. signatures yeah. to save Access Tucson. A little bit over 2,200 now. So tell counting. us a little bit about how you came to do that. Um, well, so for those of you familiar uh, with Move On as an organization, Move On started way back during the uh, Clinton impeachment uh, scandal situation as an online petition, one of the very, very first political online petitions. Um, a petition was created by Move On's original founders that said, um, censure and move on. That's where the name came from. Um, it ended up with over a million people very, very quickly signed on to that. And an organization was born because all of a sudden you had all of these activists connected to each other uh, for an effort. and. Having, having come together for that effort, they would naturally come together for other um, political efforts on a national scale. Um, something that's happened in the past two years is Move On's uh, taken that model and opened it up um, to citizens and members, and basically anybody can go on to moveon.org petitions um, they can create not just a petition like some of the other, other sites, but they can actually create a campaign where you have people sign on, you circulate the petition, you can then send email updates, you can piggyback on that um, for other efforts. So where that ties into the Access Tucson uh, efforts is I happen to have done several of those pet petitions. I've been a local a uh, volunteer for Move On and for several uh, community um, causes in Tucson. And so I had a little, um, little petition army, I called it, of people that had signed on to things such as the effort to keep Occupy Tucson in the park a few years back, which got over 4,000 signatures at the wow. time. Um, so I was able to basically call on all of my activist friends, anybody that had cared about something really deeply in the area in the past few years, um, and ask them to sign on as soon as I heard that Access Tucson was in trouble. That was something where I could say, well, wait a second. The city's counting on us not caring. Um, the news media in this town seems to have a negative bent, like all, all hope is lost, it would be nice to save it, but hey, what are we going to do? But I know several thousand people that probably care, and I can get the word out, so I'm gonna, and I'm gonna see what happens. Um, that petition grew to a thousand people within a couple of days. Now it's about three weeks into it, 
and we're at 2,200 signatures, um, most of them in the greater Tucson area. Uh, so that's something that we have that is proof that people care, that people want to save access Tucson. It also, uh, the petition tool allows you to leave comments, and we've, we've had several comments. What have been most interesting to me are the ones that say, I started my career in film or television by volunteering and taking classes at Access uh, Tucson as a teenager. Um, so we're a city that wants to attract innovation. We're doing everything we can to um, reach out and court uh, businesses and corporations that can give us training, technical training, and um, move us forward and, and create um, new jobs to, to uh, help us into a digital economy. Well, we've got one right here for, that's costing us nothing as a city, and we want to sell it out for what, a building and $300,000 a year? It doesn't make any sense. Um, so it, it's a matter of reaching out, I think, letting people know what Access Tucson is beyond just a channel on cable with some crazy TV shows on it. It's way more than that. It's a voice, uh, an independent, free voice for our community that doesn't require us to cater to any commercial interests. Um, it doesn't require that it be a popular opinion. It is a place where we can participate in democracy, um, which we have a stake in. And it's a place where we're learning and innovating. It's something that's not available um, on YouTube. It's not something that's necessarily even available um, downtown as, at, at Pima College or as part of the U of A. This is something that our community provides as a service to our community. We pay for it with our cable dollars. And they're taking it away from us, and we should be pretty mad, because our government is supposed to work for us. This is a, a great opportunity uh, for uh, citizenry to, to do things, to get training, for instance, very low cost training. Uh, you could actually, by going through the producer's course once you join, which is has been free anyway, as far as I know it still is. Uh, the, 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 and the uh, producer's cost is very low cost. Uh, uh, if you're taking it in college, it's gonna cost you a lot more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I took the producer's course and I had an idea of a show and facilitators helped me do it and I created a crew. As I say, I went to the, the, the general managers of all the major stations here, uh, even though I had had good feedback about the show, all of them talk money. Nobody told me I had to pay a fee to have a show here. Of course, I'm not getting a salary, <laughs> but, but I'm doing it out of passion because I believe in it and I love it. And most of the producers here are independent producers. Uh, I think, or, or at least many of them, are doing it like I am. It's, it's a passion. So um, you got a voice. It's kind of like your, your what is it, the, uh, the town square? You got a soapbox. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not quite a soapbox. It's more high tech than a soapbox, but it's kind of like a soapbox, where people can get up and and uh, and say their piece. Now, if it's if it's uh, X-rated, then then it's going to come on like any other show on television after hours, after you know normal hours. But um, uh, I'd like to give. Uh, well, why don't you give the the uh, the uh, the uh, link? to, to oh. have a side the petition. Okay, do we have it written down? Because it's a little unreal. Oh, uh, you know, I don't. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> um, but I, I, here, here's, a, here's, a, here's a guess how you can find it pretty easily. The easiest way. www.moveon.org forward slash petition for access to song. Um, not quite exactly. Probably the easiest way, because there's a little more to the link, is to actually go to accesstucson.org. Um, and on the main page, there's a link there to the petition. Um, if you go directly to the moveon.org uh, site, there's a search tool, because we've got millions of petitions by people all over the country. Um, and you should totally go there as well, because you can create a petition, not just to save Access Tucson, but to do anything else. Um, to change uh, our community or our country. It's a, it's a true citizen's voice because we don't have many of those anymore. So you can either go to moveon.org, um, petitions.moveon.org, and use the search tool to find Access Tucson, 
or more easily, you can go to accesstucson.org, and there's a link on the homepage. Yeah, that's probably the easiest mm -hmm. because I